Okay, when we take a look at the dorsal muscles, uh, we're seeing the back of the cat. Uh, this is the dorsal region. What we're going to be seeing is uh, basic, some basic layout with it. Uh, first of all, what we're going to see are these wing-shaped muscles right here, and these are the latissimus dorsi. Now, we want to be careful um, when we're taking a look with the abdominal muscles because the latissimus dorsi actually forms a flap of tissue that will go over the top of external uh, obliques and they'll actually join up with pectoral muscles as well. Okay, so as it wraps around you can actually go underneath and see the underlying muscles and you can see how the latissimus dorsi will join up with the pectoral muscles, uh, in this case it would be pectoralis minor and pectoralis major up here, and it actually goes right up to the proximal head of the humerus. Now it's actually kind of interesting to see if you look underneath, and I'm going to cut this away. Normally I don't have students do this, but as I cut this away, just so you can see where they're at, you'll be able to see in the armpit region right here, there's some fat over the top, but if we take a look at that, what we'll be able to see are the serratus anterior. If we're taking a look at these muscles, serratus anterior would be one, two, three, four, and there's actually a fifth one back here. Those are going to be uh, right underneath the armpit. We see them more predominantly in the, in the males in humans. I tend to call these the butterfly stroke muscles. Uh, a lot of times swimmers or wrestlers that do a lot of upper body um, type of wrestling would have these developed pretty strongly. Again, that's underneath the latissimus dorsi and the pectoralis um, muscles. What I'll do with students is actually go underneath, look at that without cutting away the latissimus dorsi. If I go back to the latissimus dorsi in this region, I work my way up. These are going to form wings as we go from here up to the uh, proximal head of the humerus, so it actually tightens here. To go to the shoulders, what we're going to actually see is a diamond shape going out and up to the neck and these are going to be the trapezius. Okay. Now, to see some of these other muscles, I guess I can throw in right here, um, we're going to be seeing, here's your deltoid up on top, and down here is going to be the lateral head of the tricep. We've got one, two, and there's actually one on the medial side as well. We'll get to that with the arms as well, so it's not the big a deal right now. If I want to cut through the trapezius muscles right here. I want to see some of the muscles that are underneath, on top of, and in between the shoulder blades or the scapula. To do that, I pinch the elbows together, and basically I just follow a line, and I'm just real lightly dragging my scalpel and separating and cutting through that trapezius. Now, as I do that, you're going to see that it's actually the trapezius muscle is actually really, really thin very similar to the oblique muscles. And as I go through, I can separate that off on either side, kind of fold it back over the top of the scapula. Like this. And what I'll see in between, actually we've got a couple muscles on our list from that. What we'll see are some string-like muscles held in by some fascia that go down to the posterior portion or caudal portion or inferior portion, we can use all those terms interchangeably, that border of the scapula. These string-like structures that are held in place, and you're going to find some fat and, and things like that, these string-like structures right here are called the rhomboideus muscles. Okay, So those are going to be going from the vertebrae down to the point of the uh, scapular border. Now if I continue folding this back, in fact I'm going to cut this, in class we won't cut this quite as much, but I'm going to cut this back and fold it back even more and we can see on top of the scapula itself there's going to be a spine, okay, the scapular spine and I can actually feel a ridge right here. You can kind of see there's a, a blood vessel that follows along with that. On the top portion or border of that scapular spine, we're going to find the supraspinatus muscle. Now if I were to continue this down, and again in class I won't have students do this, but I'll pull it away, and the reason for it is you cut into some other muscles. 
you can cut it away and you can actually see there's a muscle underneath that scapular spine as well. This is the infraspinatus. So spinatus referring to the scapular spine, that ridge on your shoulder blade. The top part is called the supraspinatus, the bottom part is called the infraspinatus. So again in review, we've got latissimus dorsi, we've got the trapezius, we've got the supraspinatus and infraspinatus, we've got our um, rhomboidus muscles.